Use code BIG5 for 10% off your next gamer subs order. So the team at Intrepid Studios did an Ashes of Creation live stream back on December 15th. I'm just getting around to watching and covering it now. They've released a little bit more information about gameplay mechanics. You actually get to see some up-to-date gameplay within the stream. But the biggest piece of news is their class release. So they actually show people how many classes are going to be in the game. Usually in MMOs you find 5 or 10, maybe 12 with expansions and stuff like that. They're touting 64 playable classes. And how it works is you're able to choose your base class between eight classes essentially fighter tank rogue ranger mage summoner cleric and bard and then you're able to choose a secondary class to layer on top of it so if you wanted to be let's say a summoner mage you would then be a spellmancer that would be your class if you wanted to be a a fighter bard or a bard fighter you could be a blade dancer or if you wanted to be a rogue fighter, you would be a shadow blade class. It's going to be interesting to see how the developers actually handle balancing within the game, as there are so many classes and so many variables to choose from. Uh, different metas are going to be able to defeat monsters and raids and dungeons more easily than others, I feel. And the balancing there is going to be the most interesting and probably the most imperative part on the part of the devs. They also go on to explain that every weapon in the game is not restricted to your player class. So if you wanted to be like a mage, and use sword and board you can do it but some weapons are going to be more proficient with with other classes so obviously daggers with rogues with fighters you're going to have sword and board uh, especially with tanks as well so it, there's logic but you're actually not going to be limited by the class that you choose now I actually prefer a limited skill set. I actually believe that if you were to choose like a fighter, like a warrior type, you wouldn't be able to use staffs or wands. I feel that it adds uh, a little bit more of a disadvantage to the character, but it, it, it adds more importance to your choice. So if you wanted to be a staff wielder, you would have to choose a class that would use it and, and you get you get advantages and disadvantages of choosing your class. I feel like that is, in my opinion, when it comes to fantasy RPG, I feel like that is the best way to do it. I know a lot of people are going to enjoy that kind of stand on your own mentality that a lot of MMOs are bringing to the table in 2017 and 2018, but I'm a fan of the Holy Trinity. And I always have been and I always will be. That's just where I'm at. I have to see the game in action before I can actually pass judgment. But just that initial uh, statement saying that you can use any weapon in the game that you want. It's a little bit frightening to me. They go on to show that if you were in a dungeon, it is open, it is public, and there is no instant space. It is literally, you could be running through a dungeon and there could be another team there running through the same dungeon trying to complete it. And that would open up uh, PvP elements. And... I don't know how I feel about it. I, I like the instance-based combat of like games like World of Warcraft. I like knowing that we are the only group in the dungeon and that the threat is what's on screen, the NPCs in front of us. There could be a group lurking in the side in this game that we might not be able to see. They might be higher level than us and they could just come in and gank us at any moment. I guess it adds an element of surprise and it adds an element of like more dread than I guess just fighting NPCs. But again, I have to see how it works as I play it. Now, their website has been updated. The last sale that they had of the game was the PAX version, which was a little bit pricey at the time. They have now added uh, a bunch of different pre-order packs here. So you have the $75 pre-order pack, which is the Wayfarer, uh, and that gets you access to their second beta phase. You get two months of game time, uh, $25 in embers, and a spectral eye accessory. You have the $150 uh, expeditionary escape from Tarkov pack, which gets you access to basically all the beta stages. Beta stage one, beta stage two, you have four months of in-game time. Uh, $50 in embers, which is an in-game marketplace credit. No pay to win, they they try, they try put it right there, no pay to win, which is good. I'm glad that you guys are putting that in. At the beginning, you get access to the Spectral Eye accessory and the pseudo uh, Dracolic pet for $150. You have the $250 pack, which is the Voyager pre-order pack. That gives you access to Alpha 2, the beta stages, six months of in-game time, which is a $90 value, uh, $100 in in-game marketplace credits. Again, no pay to win. You get the Bone Strider mount, the, the Pseudo Dracolic pet, and the Spectral Eye accessory, all for $250. And then they have the Intrepid pre-order pack, which is $500. And that gets you access to 
all of the alphas, alpha 1, alpha 2, beta, beta 2, 12 months, so a whole year of in-game time, which is $180 value, $150 in in-game in marketplace credits, you get a ship of the dam, you get a plague lab, you get a necromonic costume, and then the bone strider mount, the pet, and the accessory. Now, the biggest thing for me when I see uh, products like this, when you can pre-order at different stages and they unlock at different stages, I know it's hard as a developer to pinpoint when these stages are going to take place, especially when you're talking about alphas and talking about betas. The two things for me that will tell me whether or not I will buy a certain pack is when that stage will become available. Even if you can give me a rough estimate as to when beta is going to start compared to when alpha is going to start, I know you're in alpha zero, which means you guys could, I guess, maybe have a timeline set for alpha one, even if it's a rough estimate, just put estimated time of delivery, even if it's March, uh, quarter, quarter two of 2018, even a quarter. Uh, that way I know how much money I'm dropping now versus how much time I actually have to wait. Another thing I also want to know is in the alpha, I know you guys are doing alpha zero uh, streams and stuff like that. As a content creator, I want to know if alpha is going to be under NDA. I imagine it's going to be, and that is actually going to influence my decision as to whether or not to buy the alpha pack or the beta pack. Because if I can jump in at alpha and do game coverage and stream it and show the game off to my community, that is worth it to me because it, it's almost like a business investment at this point. It's the same thing I did with Escape from Tarkov. I was able to stream EFT at the very beginning with, ev with everybody else, the very limited group of people that were able to stream it. And that helped my channel immensely. And that it, it's, it's essentially a business decision. But I think a lot of people who are content creators who are looking to get in at the earliest stage to show off the game, I feel like they need that information at the ready for us to actually make a decision whether to drop $250, $500, $150. It's a pretty hefty price, and I feel like giving us more information is the best way to do it. If you guys are watching this video and you want to reach out to me and just let me know if I'm able to cover it at the alpha stage or the beta stage, that would be awesome. And that way I can relay information to my staff and the people who are going to be jumping in with me potentially, and we can kind of get something going. As always, my name is Big Fry. I want you guys to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of Ashes of Creation. Is it something that you're interested in based on the gameplay you're seeing on screen? Is it something that you're kind of just waiting to see? Let me know. Use the keyword Ashes. That lets me know you guys made it to the end of the video. I appreciate everyone watching. If you guys want to check out my Patreon and the website, the link is down in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.